Hello and welcome to Punky Fox Gaming. We are back on Katana Zero today, and well, last time around things are getting really, really strange. Um, so we had the little visit uh, from comedy and tragedy masked scientist dudes. Is the only way I can describe them. Um, right at the very start, slash the end of the previous episode. Um, yeah, and things have gone a little bit weird since. Um, we did have a big sort of showdown with, I don't actually know his name, but Quiff Guy, like blonde, platinum blonde Quiff Guy, um, and he set uh, Mr. Kissy Face on us, which is some weird torture guy that he has under his, uh, under his employ, um, beat him and then set off on a chase with uh, the Quiff Guy. Um, ended up on a motorcycle and um, fighting him while he was in a helicopter, which was a fun little bit of change. Very different to the rest of the gameplay so far. Um, but yeah, we are now back with um, our uh, psychiatrist, so we'll see what they've got to say. Oh yeah, we came back very, very drunk um, and totally ignored the little girl. Sorry, last night when I asked you for help, you wouldn't listen to me. I thought you were mad at me. There's something wrong with me last night. Oh. Dad's friends came over. I didn't have anywhere to go, so I hid under the stairs with Behemoth. I didn't eat dinner last night. Come in. R really? I probably don't have much. That's okay. Just not going to shut the door then. And some protein paste. All I have is protein paste. Sorry. Well, I guess I'm hungry. I need to leave, but you can stay here today. Have a good day. Bye. I think I. You can order a pizza in or something. Sit down. Now. What the hell were you doing last night? Your mission was to kill our Kasim, not destroy the fucking city. There are two dozen wrecked motorcycles and a goddamn helicopter on the highway. What the fuck were you doing? What were you thinking? Al Kasim is dead. I know al is dead. He was found with the goddamn bullet in his head. Also, all over the... And the sensitivity of our work? Do you understand the discretion your mission demands? Was this an elaborate advertisement for your services as killer? Because that's what it looks like. Big fucking look at me! Well... Oh! You're not looking so hot right now. I bet you want a hit of the good stuff, huh? You're dead, V. Oh, that's his name, V. Yeah, fuck you. I missed my date, asshole. Yeah, I guess you don't look so great right now either. Rough day. But, what I've been through... Doesn't even compare to what's in store for you. You don't even have to know about it. Jesus, you really don't know, do you? You stupid fuck. This is it. This is how it ends for you. When the drug runs out, you suffer for eternity. Time stops. You're stuck in your own mind with nothing but nightmares to keep you company. You're gonna wish you were dead. But it'll never happen. Those neighbours of yours? Yeah, they're dead to us. 
the shit I gave them? They're still in their minds. It'll never end to them. An eternity of torture, when nobody can even hear you scream. Oh. Get your dossier on the way out and act like a goddamn professional tonight, dragon. The name would almost be humorous if your recklessness didn't jeopardize our lives and everything we've worked for. I'm not the dragon. And preposterous of me. Of course you are not responsible for the rash of highly visible third district murders. It must be some other dragon. And all of them know. I met the dragon. What? When? On the highway, during the al mission. That... I was not expecting that. Who was this person? Tall, long, blonde hair, swordsman. We are aware of an individual who fits that profile. Did he say anything about anything to you? He was after the people I was fighting. Allow me to assure you that any perceived mutual goals or enemies with this dragon are purely superficial. I heard of the plans, but yes. I want you to track down and kill this person. Who is he? Clearly a menace. More so than I realised. Consider this mission a public service. You are treading on very thin ice. There's no longer room for failure. From this point on, if you display anything less than your utmost compliance, our professional you will be replaced. Fuck you. Get the hell out of here, now. Slice. Here we got. Oh, actually the dragon. Target of interest considered extremely skilled and dangerous, connected with murder of several government employees. Last seen in a profile, sorry, last seen in high profile, the Chinatown Casino. Oh, and we are in the casino now. Hey man, nice cosplay. Shinji, right? My nephew loves XVX. Sakura Redux 2. Thanks. So, you want to play? What's the game? Two color roulette. Red or black? 50 50 shot. Five times payout. What do you say? All in. Celsius. Red or black? Red. Alright, let's spin that wheel. Black. Ooh, so close. Maybe you shouldn't have gone all in, eh? Better luck next time. Let's play. Mamma mia, red or black? Black. Alright, let's spin that wheel. Black! Wow, nice one, man. Let's bet everything again. Ooh, big man, red or black? Let's go black again. Alright, let's spin that wheel. Ah! Red, ooh, so close. So it's black, red.
Oh, you're a lucky one, aren't you? Yep, bit everything again. I'm going to go red this time. I said you've got a regular ding dong daddy from Duma on our hands. I'm out of chips. You've let me dry. Here's all I've got 99,999 chips. So, do I need to... in chips here, but they don't call me any of the lenient for nothing. Go on through. How did the Russian know about Null? He was a fool. But whoever he worked for isn't. And they're trying to bring back Kronos. That's why I'm here. I'm so close. I know. But I need your help. This is our chance for revenge. The war ended seven years ago. I'm too tired for revenge. With El Kassim gone. Kronos. I don't have much time. We're taking away our lives. We're making us monsters. We're making us fight their walls and purging us when they were done. We don't have much time. But I'm so close. I want you to see something. Get out of here. I'll handle this. Right. Wherever you are, you just made a huge mistake. <laughs> the hell? You... You were dead. This is Nova. Surrounded, surrender now. I assume it probably expected you to die first and then come back. That's why you get the line. What the hell you were dead. Killy. I pressed the wrong button.
go back this way. trying to do all this time. <laughs> Terrible this. Yeah, they can do that. doing it I'm sure
Oh. Where the shit did you come from? Details are slim, but the LT is saying out pet is a swordsman in a bathroom. You think it's the dragon? It is. Been saving a bullet for him for what he did to Strong Terry. <laughs> Rip Strong Terry. You are lifting with baby Jesus now. <laughs> That'll work. That'll do. Oh, there's two up there. Throwing it up.
Oh. Wasn't I expecting that car at the end? It's a very Surrounded. Can you need to put your hands up? Do it now. The golden moon casteth wide its brilliant smile upon the altar of thy ablution. A baptism of blood draws nigh. Oh, but what the fuck? Get back now. You, no. The stars dictate thy ultimate death. Ring from the errant heart libations of blood upon this hallowed altar. How did you get here? I was here all along. What are you talking about? Thou heedest not my grim horuspissy? But not three nights ago did I foretell thy choice of silver death golden light. This altar demandeth thine answer. Dost thou choose the golden mask of life to stay thy blade and be reborn in grace? Or dost thou choose the silver mask of death and sow upon this fallow soil the blood of thine enemy? Life or death? What a choice, eh? Glad I'm not in your shoes right now. Why do I have to die here? Because the stars say so. Or maybe it's because of that drug business you're tied up in. Or all those people you killed. Or maybe we just like the fucking weird. Me? I personally like the fucking weird. So what do you say? You want to live or die? What are you talking about? that little talk we had the other night about the big choice you had to make. Here it is. Life or death. You choose. Choose life. These guys die. You walk away. Choose death. And well, I think you can figure it out. The choice thou makest affects more than just thine own fate. To don the mask of death is to embody death. And likewise the mask of life bestows life unto those a heart seeks to protect. Why, then what dost thou choose this, O oh, errant heart? I want to live. Is this thy choice, to forego thy final end and bear the silver mask of death? Art thou prepared to face the consequences, to embody death and welcome it upon those around you? This will be fun. So be it. Thou choosest to bear the silver mask of death scorn the peace of final death. Know that others shall bear the consequences of thy choice. Farewell, Erin Hart.
Dave is about to call in. The phone calls I've had to make to ensure that the media wouldn't hear about your latest killing spree. The entire police squad is dead. Nothing. For absolutely fucking nothing. I can no longer excuse your egregious behaviour and failures. There will be dire consequences for tonight. Hello, welcome back. I'm bored. Why did you clean up? Oh, it was just kind of messy. It was no big deal. He lived in a pigsty. What's that? Is it a movie? I want to watch. You can't watch it. Oh, well. Can we go get a movie then? Please? Sure. Hey, come on, let's go. Hey, man. Those pre-war samurai tapes you ordered just got in. Let me get him. Hey. Can we get a cartoon? Next time. Aw, oh, man. Fine. 32 credits. Later, man. Pretend for the Crimson Blade. Hand it over to me, not taste my folded steel. <laughs> I always knew this day would come. Come, brother, let me test your metal. <coughs> He's bleeding. The bad man stabbed him. This movie's too scary. I'll protect you from bad guys. Okay. You Samurai 2, like the ones in the movie. I don't know. Really? You look like one. And you have a cool sword. I think you're a samurai. And now, my death blow from hell. He just cut off his head. Lord Owasi, it is I, Reishi. Come to rescue Princess Ezin. You shall die. My son, you are foolhardy as ever. But it is you who will die today. A Beowulf standing guard at the door. You guys here? One of the prisoners is testifying some big hearing tomorrow. Yeah, some military conspiracy thing, right? Sounds important. Shouldn't we have beef up security? Nah, it's probably fine. You're surrounded. Surrender now. Oh! They've got a very different power.
very interesting, like, it's not quite a teleport, but it's like an insta-dash. Oh, and it just stops there. Okay. I can't believe I messed that up. A little bit of getting used to, but I do like this power. Oh, and names now. Uh, uh, Josh Rose? He was assassinated this week. Omar Al Kasim? Al Kasim? Is he the one bringing it back? Does he have anything to do with that Russian thug or the ninja lady? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything. Anyone was trying to bring Kronos back. I've only spoken to the attorney of these last seven years. But I can tell you it's not the government. By my estimation, there are very few entities with the resources to manufacture Kronos. al -Kassim will know. Contact him and... Leon von Elvenslaban. He's the one who made Kronos. He'll know. Yes, Leon. Please don't kill me. 
everyone has to die. Interesting. The Anvil now vents the blend. It's whatever that says. Third district slaughterhouse and meat processing. Who is this? Your questions will be answered. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. So, things are getting a bit stranger. We've been introduced to uh, two new characters quite properly. One being the real dragon, the other being his accomplice who also seems to be on Kronos. Um, because he... We killed him but then he wasn't dead. So, there's definitely something going on there. Um, so, I think there's maybe three people, three assassins on Kronos. Two of them are working against the people that employ us. Not to say that we're on the right side. But if you're enjoying Katana Zero so far, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitch, which is linked in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.